Okay, so I just came in. I checked my cameras really quickly and she is pushing. I'm not sure how long she's been pushing. I was just in the house and I happened to look at my camera and seeing her laying down. Like I said, my camera's not very good right now because of the internet connection. Uh, let's see if I can move this to go out here. Okay. It is just me here by myself, so I'm gonna try to get as much as I possibly can. But um, if I get in the way, I'm sorry. She's more important than the video. So did you just start, Mama? Can I see what we got going? Just trying to feel what I can feel. She didn't feel anything. Keep trying. push just a little bit more because I want her to do all the work. more puppy pads ready just in case. So, 
come in and I'm not gonna dump the water bucket over. Oh girl, this doesn't help. I have to go potty. <laughs> Sweetheart. the bubble. Okay, I see a tail, but I don't want to interfere just yet because I think she might be able to push the baby out. <laughs> it does look backwards.
honey. Push, push. You got it. You can get my bail. Good girl. Good girl. I think I was almost there. You got it. You got it, Mama. You got it, Mama. Yeah. I know. You got it. You got it. Keep going. Keep going, sweetheart. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Just until I can get those hips. Come on. Good girl. Almost there. Yeah. Almost there. Good girl. You're almost there. Keep pushing. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And here comes another. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, you lick him off. Wow, he's teeny. Little. You two try to come out at the same time? Come on. Come on. Get licked off, Mama. There you go. Oh my Jesus. That is a little baby. Holy shnikes. You got another? <laughs> Holy sh. Backwards again. Honey. Here. Yeah, let's put 
these littles over here closer so you can get them. There you go. There you go. Oh my goodness. Nope, you can't go nowhere yet. <laughs> you can't go nowhere yet. There you go. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. I think you got one more. Sorry if you've seen my back end. I don't really have a way of pulling my shirt down. Okay. You got another? Holy shnikes. Good girl, moms. I need more. Puppy pads. Okay. I'll go grab another puppy pad. You're gonna pop it out before I even get another one. No way. Got at least another one. Four. Here, I'm gonna put this over where I can grab it. last I'm going to stand back and see it I'm, I know she can do it I'm just going to stand <laughs> here unless it's coming backwards again so we had two backwards and one forwards again. Let's see. No for forwards. Keep pushing, honey. So she's already got three out. I'm going to go ahead and get this one out. Good job. I know. Sneeze. Get it out. Cough it out. Cough it out. There you go. Cough it out. There you go. Okay. Bring you up by mom. Here, mama. Look. Look. Oh, that little one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so small. It's strong, though. It's standing. 
Okay, let me see if I can turn you guys just a little bit so you can see. I don't know if she's done yet. Um, Change my clothes. Oops. No. Go on, dogs. I'm gonna check her to make sure that she's done. Holly, go on. Oh my goodness, I think it is four gold kids. <laughs> I think they're all gold. Oh, they are so cute. Okay. That's all the way here. Go ahead and help her get those guys dried off. Will you guys quit growling back there? I know it smells wonderful in here. It smells like baby goats. Duke, no. dry kind of let's get the slimies off of you Gotta be a boy. I'm gonna guess we got two boys and two girls. I'm going to grab a clean towel and set it over off to the side um, and move the babies over there so they can get out of that wet spot right there.
you there. Set you there. My goodness, we got four. Wow. This town is dusty roads ahead, crossing rivers, dreaming of a bed. So I'm gonna, this is just my, uh, I can't even think of my words right now. This is my guess. My guess is that those two back there are bucklings and these are buildings. So she had three bucklings and a doling. What? Mama. 
Mama. There you go. Don't you know your little brother? some more straw and bed down them a little bit better. Oh. Little dude. I know you want to get up and run. Okay. Let's see here. Most likely I will have to grab some colostrum from her and get it inside of this little, little guy. Um, and then possibly in the second smallest one also, the little doling. Okay, well, I will be right back when I get everything resituated, some new straw and whatnot. Okay, so um, I am inside the house and I um, have the two littlest babies here. I got them some colostrum in them. Now I'm just trying to get them up, back up to temp. Um, so I have a little heat box here with a blow dryer. And inside I've got the two littlest ones. I got the little buckling and the little doling. And um, I'm just trying to get the heat in here to get the little buckling um, nice and warm. So I don't have the hair dryer blowing on them. I have it blowing up so that it doesn't like blow at them in their face and whatnot. Um, but I have been trying to kind of move it around too because she is up and walking around so I don't want it to like sit in one spot basically. So I've just been kind of moving the hair dryer around and created a tent, um, a warming tent. So hopefully we can get him mainly back up to temperature. He's sitting at 99.6 right now. Um, she's almost there. She's like... 10 something 101 I believe and she's up and moving around um, I could probably take her back to mom but I'm going to wait that way it gives him a little bit of a friend also and I'm hoping mom will take them back after I get them all nice and warm so I will keep you updated okay so I'm back it's been a few hours later. Um, my youngest is chasing the girls, so he thinks it's hilarious. Oh, goodness. Okay, so it's been a few hours or so. Um, I went ahead and brought the two littlest, the doling and the littlest buckling both got really cold mouths so I brought them inside so that I could warm them up the little doling is that little girl right there she's looking for the teat I did get colostrum in both her and the littlest buckling which is right right there oh mom's stepping on baby mom get up Here, Mom, move, sweetheart. You're up on a hill. There you go. There you go. Okay, so we have a buckling, we have a doling, a buckling, and a buckling. So he weighed in at 1.2 pounds. She weighed in at 1.8 pounds. And the two biggest ones I did not weigh, but uh, they're, I guarantee you, twice as big. 
So he is so little. I wanted to bring him back out here um, to see if mom would still love on him. And she has. She's licked him a few times. It's just, I think he's just so cold. So, I don't know if he is going to end up being a bottle baby or not. I don't want to keep him out here in the cold. I mean, it's not too bad. I will put little sweaters on them so that they'll be good through the night. But, um... Since he's so small, I don't want him to get squished or knocked over by his big brothers or anything like that. So, we'll see. But I wanted to update everybody. And Feline's doing good. So I've gotten lots of colostrum from her. Um, now it's just a matter of getting these babies going. So I'll give mom some water. And go from there. Okay, so quick nighttime update. We are doing good. So the little buckling has been in the house for quite a few hours. Uh, I want to say at least three to four hours today he's been inside the house trying to get warm, um, get him colostrum and everything that he needs to thrive. So, uh, we were definitely kind of going up and down. I was getting a little bit scared because he did seem very, like, limp and uh, not very lively. So, I decided that maybe I should probably tube him. Well, I don't have a tube, so that's one more thing to add to my kid and kit is uh, to be able to tube a kid in case... Um, they're not wanting to suckle because basically that's what happened. He was at temperature um, and I just needed to get colostrum into him, but he wasn't wanting to suckle. So um, I was like, well, maybe he needs to be warmer. So I put him back inside of my little warming box that I built or made. It was just a laundry basket with a cardboard box on the top. Um, and then I cut a hole in the top of the cardboard box and shoved the... Uh, what did I use? The blow dryer <laughs> through the hole. So that's what I used for the warming box. Um, it worked really well. And then I had my mom bring me her, uh, she has an extra heating pad. Wow, it's been a long day. She has a extra heating pad. And so um, we put that underneath him and put the towel over the top of it just a layer of the towel that way he could still get the warmth of the heating pad but he wasn't going to end up pooping or peeing on the heating pad so we covered that and got him warmed up he came back to temperature and he had just the teeniest tiniest bit of a sucking reflex so I was like well let's go ahead and try to get some more colostrum in him so I gave him the bottle and he did suck on it for a little bit, but then stopped, and then he kind of, like, laid off to the side, and so I was just like, no, like, it's, like, I had a bad feeling that it wasn't going to work, but then I put him back in the warming box, and all of a sudden, like, he starts making noises, and so I go and check on him, and he is standing up um looking at me and so I was like okay you want to try again you hungry and so I pick him up and we go to give him a bottle and he starts sucking on it and I was like oh that's good um he didn't take a whole lot but he did take um more than he has taken all day so I think it was 
like half an ounce or something like that. And then after that, he kind of got a little sleepy again. He took a little nap and he woke up and he was loud. And so just calling for mom, brothers and sisters, somebody to reply back. Um, I went over and cuddled him for a little bit and put him back in there and um, and he just continued to like want out basically. So um, went ahead and gave him a little bit more of colostrum. He did drink some more and I was like, you know what? He's, he's warm. I had a little baby goat coat on him and I figured let's go ahead. Let's put you back outside and see how your mom does. So brought him back out here and he's been with mom for like 45 minutes or so. And um, we're looking good. We're really looking good. So he latched on multiple times and mom was very attentive to him. And she went straight to licking him and loving on him, talking to him, everything. So um I think he'll be okay. Now he's in a baby goat pile with his siblings. And I think this just might make him a little bit happier. So um, it's definitely not as warm in here as it is inside the house. And I don't have those extra like heating elements. Yes, there's a heat lamp, but I don't have like a way to put a heating pad out here or anything like that. But I think with him being with his siblings, he can cuddle up next to them. They can share their warmth in a little kid pile. And um, mom will curl up next to him when she's done eating. There's the heat lamp, plenty of straw. I went ahead and rebedded, um, put more straw down. So I think he's going to do okay. Um, I am going to be coming out here periodically throughout the night and checking on him i will make sure to check his temperature to make sure that he's not dropping and i will also be checking his belly to make sure that he has been eating um if he's asleep by the time that i get out here i'll go ahead and i'll wake him up and put him next to mom and see if he wants to drink and um make sure that she's still bonding with him and everything but i think it'll go okay so I don't mind bottle babies, but I'm just not set up for bottle babies and they're a lot of work. So, um, mom's made to do it. She has plenty of milk and she's talking to him. So I think it'll be okay. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. So yes, I went ahead and fed everybody and now we're just waiting on Sassy. So I think she will end up going tomorrow, but we'll see. Thank you so much, everybody. And you have a wonderful evening or day um, whenever you're watching this. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.